Hi there gorgeous! Welcome to the very first video to kick off Save Money September. If you did not hear already, every single video coming out the entire month of September is drugstore themed, so please subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos coming out this month. This is a running theme that I've been doing a couple years now, and I know a lot of you look forward to the whole drugstore month theme like this, so woohoo! <laughs> to kick off the first video of the month, I am doing a review today for you on the Shop Miss A brushes. Ever since I did a whole review on their makeup products, a lot of you have been asking me to review their brushes. So I went ahead and purchased their Paw Paw 10 piece brush set. This comes with 10 brushes. Looks like there are a lot of eye brushes and a nice case for them also. And I also purchased their 10 piece plush faux mink brush set. And this comes with a variety of different faux mink brushes, eye brushes, face brushes, and then a brush roll. Both of these sets were very affordable. It basically breaks down to about a dollar a brush. So I'll show you each of these up close, what they look like in an application demo, and I'll let you know. Are they worth getting or not? We'll begin with the Paw Paw set, which is that pink handled brush set with the white tips. I only used five out of 10 of these brushes in the demos that I'm getting ready to show you, but I'll show you each brush up close so that you can get an idea of what we're talking about here. So the first one we'll talk about is, let's go with the E128. This is a, what I would consider a fluffy crease brush. It's great for applying eyeshadow on small eyes. The bristles are rather dense, so it's not a floppy brush. It does hold on to product really well and deposits it evenly across the eye. And I was most impressed by this one. This is also one that you could use for blending eyeshadow out on the edges, and I think you'd have a lot of success with it too. Speaking of blending, going to the E129, this has become my go-to blender brush recently. It's excellent for blending out harsh lines and getting rid of rough edges and eyeshadow. It's so soft and it's the perfect size for blending eyeshadow too. This is typically the kind of brush that I would go for when it comes to blending and no exception here, love it. Moving on to the E131. This is a small paddle brush, great for applying creams, powders, etc., onto the lid area of the eye. It picks up product very well and deposits it evenly on the eye. I didn't struggle at all with this brush and I found it to be very easy to use. Would not compare it to my beloved MAC 239. Sorry, I'm still looking for a dupe for that brush. I've been looking for a dupe for years now. But this is a nice brush for applying eyeshadow onto the eyes and it will give you a nice application. The next brush is the E132. This is a pointed, more of a blunt tip brush, but it's a uh, what I would consider something for the outer V or for smudging around the eye area. Very soft against the skin, did not have any trouble with this one either, and I felt like the application with this one was very professional looking. Sometimes you can get pencil brushes that are really scratchy against the skin, and I was worried, honestly, at the price point with this one that it was going to do the same thing, but I didn't have any issues with that whatsoever. We'll transition over here to the E134. And this is a pointed brush, and typically these can be rather scratchy against the skin but again didn't have any trouble with this one whatsoever it's one that I like to use for smudging eyeshadow on the lower lash line or smudging out the upper lash line beautiful for that and again I love the application with it and I love that it's not scratchy now, these next five brushes are like I said ones I did not use because four out of five of them are too big for my eye shape so it wouldn't really work for me personally and I don't feel like I could give a fair review to those of you who have bigger eyes and could appreciate a brush like this. But I'll go through each one so you can see what they look like up close. And I will just tell you that they are the same exact quality of the previous five that I've already shown you because I did experiment with them off camera on my personal time with nothing on them just to see what they felt like on the skin. And oh, they're really soft and you can tell they are of quality. So the first one is the E127 and this is what I would consider to be a crease brush 
possibly a blending brush, although it's a little bit too flimsy for blending, so you may struggle with this one. I typically like to have a more dense brush when I'm blending, but definitely a great one for those with big eyes that want a bigger crease brush. And the next one is the E130, and again, a little smaller compared to the one I just showed you previously. Great for crease work, outer V work, that's what I would use this one for. And this is quite possibly one that I could get away with personally. And then the other one is the E126. Just like the first one that I showed you in this grouping, it's very big, very fluffy. It is not as dense as I would like. I mean, you could use it as a blending brush, but you may find that it's a little floppy. So yeah use your own discretion there and then the e125 is a slanted brush that you could use for applying eyeshadow into the crease you could also apply eyeshadow into the outer v with this one and it is excellent quality just like all the others that i've shown you here and then finally the e133 now this is a simple spoolie and an angled brush in one Great for eyeliner application, great for the brows. Does have a spoolie on the end so you can blend the product through your brows also. It's your standard brush. I didn't find anything spectacular about this, but again, of quality, like the other nine that I've shown you from this set. One of the things I do want to point out with these brushes is that five out of the 10 that I used, and I'm actually really glad that I only used five to begin with and I didn't use the other five so you can see the difference between these, is that when you use them, even if it's just one time, they do stain. And it doesn't matter what you use on the brushes to try and get that excess pigment out, these bristles will hold on to makeup and they will stain. So you're not going to have that bright, clean, white look that you get with them when you first take them out of the package, unfortunately. And I'm sure the more you use them over time, the more they're going to stain. So just be aware of that. If that doesn't bother you, hey, it doesn't bother me because nobody's looking at my brushes except you and you know we use brushes. <laughs> I think it's a good sign when they're stained. But other than that, I didn't experience any issues with shedding during use or washing them and uh, I feel like for the price point they perform extremely well. So I would give this brush set a two thumbs up. <laughs> I mean, you can't beat the price. It's crazy ridiculous. The next set that I bought was the 10 piece faux mink brush set. You get five brushes for the eyes in this set and five brushes for the face. So we'll first go through the eye brushes. I'll show you each one up close here real quickly, beginning with number E136. This is a great little crease brush. It is made for those of us with smaller eyes. I mean, if you have bigger eyes, you can use it too, but it'll take you a little bit more time. It is a little densely packed. It's not as floppy as you might expect for it to be. So it does deposit the product pretty evenly and it gives you a professional application. Really impressed by that one. The next one I have to share with you is E139. Now, this is a shorter, more dense paddle brush kind of design. And this is one that I use more for smudging eyeshadow around the eyes. Again, on the lower lash line, the upper lash line, it's great for that. Next one is the E138, and this is an angled brush that you can use for outer V work. You can also use this one for smudging eyeshadow along the upper and lower lash lines. And then you have the E137. You can use this one to apply cream products on the lid, powder products on the lid. You can also use this one in the crease. It does make for a great brush in that respect. And again, all of these brushes I'm sharing with you are extraordinarily soft. I mean, if you, you're not going to believe it at this price point, how soft these brushes are. It is ridiculous. The last eye brush I have to share with you from that set is E135. And this is a little bit of a floppier version of the E136. So this is better suited for those with bigger eyes. And you could use this one as a crease brush. You could possibly use it as a blending brush, although... It's not as dense as I would typically like for a blending brush, so I would stick to the crease more or less with this one. For the face brushes, these are just some of the softest brushes at this price point. I mean, I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm, I'm speechless. Beginning with the F23, this is a flat top traditional kabuki brush. You would use this for applying foundation, possibly cream blushes, that type of product.
And then moving on to the F21. This is one that I have been using a lot for powder application and I really love it. Super soft bristles. It gives you the most flawless finish and excellent for powder application. Next one is the, it doesn't have a number on it. It got rubbed off, whoops. Well, it looks like that. It's a angled brush, one that I would use for blush and contour application. Again, excellent application with this one. Cannot recommend it to you enough. Really love how evenly it applies the product. It's just a beautiful brush all the way around. Next brush I have to share with you is the F24. And this is one that I've been using more so for blush application on the cheeks. And it's a really excellent like that because it's the perfect size for your cheeks. And it gives you such a beautiful wash of color. And again, super soft bristles. You will be amazed. I'm gonna keep saying it because this is amazing. The last brush I have to share with you is the F25. And this is a pointed version of the last brush that I shared with you. So if you look at these two side by side, you can see what I mean. This is the F25. This is that blush brush that I was using before. And I've been using more of the pointed brush for applying powder underneath my eyes after I'm done with my makeup application, getting more around the nose area, setting it there. And I feel like the pointed tip and the soft bristles on top of that really helps to get in there and give you a flawless application. Unfortunately, one of the things that I found with the Faux Mink brush set is that it sheds. It sheds on application and they shed when you wash them. It's not horrible. I mean, these are not the worst brushes I've ever used in terms of shedding. I can tell you some other companies who shed pretty badly. Morphe. Oh, sorry about that. But for the price point, again, I'm going to say it, it was actually not so bad. And you can get past losing a few hairs in these brushes. It's not like you're going to have cat hair all over your face by the time you're done applying your makeup. It's they're actually really good. So despite that minor flaw with these, as long as you know to expect it and that's not something that's going to be a deal breaker for you, pretty good. Overall, I have to tell you, I <laughs> was not expecting a lot with these brush sets. It really wasn't. I wasn't expecting a lot with the makeup, to be honest with you, from this website, because traditionally, a dollar makeup products online, I'm not talking about dollar store or anything like that, I'm talking about online makeup products that are a dollar, usually are not that good. And the brushes tend not to be that good either, but these are actually some really excellent finds. And I have a friend also who heard me talking about the Shop Miss A website recently and she went and bought a bunch of brushes from them and she said she was blown away by the quality and she loves real techniques just to give you a base point. So that's saying a lot. And if it's something that you've been considering, you've not really been sure about it, like me, I was skeptical, I'll admit it. Go for it. I mean, especially this paw set, the 10 piece eye set, oh, that was just, I mean, I was blown away that these brushes are what I would consider to be right up there with some of the higher end brands in the terms of the performance and the application results that you get. So if you're interested in these, I'll have them listed and linked for you below. I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Please subscribe for more videos and save money September. And I look forward to seeing you again on Wednesday.